Hi there, and it's good to have you logging on to Hoo-Ha Sports today. Well, Malaysia is all abuzz with Premier League fever for the next two weeks with the Asia tours of Arsenal, Liverpool and Chelsea. And the first team to touch down is the Arsenal. Arsene Wenger and his boys arrived yesterday and will play the Malaysian World Cup qualifying squad tomorrow. However, the team came without Cesc Fabregas, who was initially said to be nursing an injury. But Wenger categorically told a news conference yesterday that they will put an end to the club's ongoing saga with Barcelona on the Spaniards' future. Also not featured on this Far East tour is new signing Ivorian Jovino from French club Lille. Well, his hairstyle is a topic in itself, but Wenger said the 24-year-old striker is sorting out his family's well-being and arrived in London two days ago. And since he hasn't trained with the team, Wenger decided to leave him behind with some backroom staff who are helping him to acclimatise to his new home. But is Wenger concerned about how his entourage will acclimatise to Asia? As for many of his boys, this is the furthest they have travelled. The organisation will be great, hospitality is always great, that people try to help you out. So I'm not too worried about aspects that you usually worry about, you know, when you go uh, on a long trip. And uh, the fact that I've worked in uh, Japan and I've been in Malaysia, I've been in China, I know how well people want to do for you. And uh, so I'm quite peaceful to go there. Food is always a concern and an issue when these guys come to Asia. But in Malaysia, they will be spoiled for choice. It's down to if they have the guts to try it. But they are cautiously looking forward to their China leg of the tour to hopefully be a little more adventurous with the cuisine and the pranks. To make a team may heat the fish out had probably Nicholas Ben <laughs> because he's been giving me a bit of stick lately so uh, I'd have to get him back in somewhere. I would force Robin to do it because he's always uh, making jokes with me and always doing strange things to me so I will force him to eat that chicken feet. <laughs> I think I will make one of my teammates, uh, I'll take back Arisania, eat the chicken feet. He's one of my big, big friends here, and uh, I just like to play jokes on him, so he has to eat it. <laughs> Duck necks. I would give that to someone with a big neck. Marwan Shamak. Marwan Shamak would eat duck neck. And uh, what, what's, the, what's the last one? Fish heads. Fish heads, yeah, I, I wouldn't give anyone that. No, I would just leave that alone. Fish head. I don't touch that. I wouldn't touch it. Fish head. Fish head is nice, especially when cooked with Indian curry, not forgetting the piece de resistance, fish eyes. Okay, back to the Asia tour. Liverpool will be arriving next pretty much as soon as Arsenal depart. They are now in China, touching down yesterday morning. And organisers, along with corporate sponsors, have gone into overdrive with many of the side events kicking off this week. Here in KL, corporate sponsor Standard Chartered launched its Fan Zone at the Pavilion Shopping Centre in the heart of Kuala Lumpur to further add the excitement of the Reds' impending arrival. There are lots of activities lined up and also prizes to be won at the event. And we also caught up with some of the Liverpool supporters who were invited for the launch and asked them who they were looking forward to see. Yeah, uh, for sure, Mr. Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard, what about you? Mariles. Mariles, Raul Mariles, very nice. What about you? I got the whole team to see. You want to see the whole team? <laughs> what about you? Tunggu siapa-siapa nak tengok? Uh, semua lah. Semua? Uh, of course, uh, Steven Gerrard, uh, paling utama sekali lah. Tapi kalau tak ada, tak apalah. Semua saya nak tengok. And what about you? Steven Gerrard, uh, King Kenny and uh, Carragher. King Kenny. King Kenny. Yes. Sadly, Stevie G is not on tour as he is still in rehabilitation from a groin injury. And sad as well for the South Korean supporters. Even though it was part of the tour, the deal to take the Reds there fell through. In turn, Liverpool will be making a short pit stop in Singapore after taking on the Malaysian selection comprising of both the World Cup and Olympic qualifying squads on Saturday. And what a real baptism of fire for the Malaysian Tigers playing Arsenal, Liverpool and Chelsea in a span of 10 days. We spoke to former Malaysian team captain and legend so Chin An on the exposure our boys will be getting. To play against uh, teams like Liverpool and all that, of course they are very much uh, superior compared to us. 
but it will be a, a good uh, a training matches for them. No? It will be a good training matches, especially when you meet this kind of uh, strong opponent. No? Then only you know how strong you are. We will have the full exclusive interview with the Malaysian football legend and his views on both the national squads ahead of their respective qualifiers. And it will be right here at hoo -ha My. Until the next time, for the team, I'm Patrick saying it's bye for now.